what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm talking about insidious 5 in this video here again today um insidious fear the dark i guess we should call it because that seems like it's going to be the title that gets announced after they're done filming i will say it could be a working title but again usually working titles i recently haven't been seeing working titles on the back of production chairs usually what's on the back on the back of a production chair from my experience recently has been the title of the movie so this movie seems like it's going to be called in cities fear the dark it's coming out july 2023 we know it's taking place 10 years after the events of insidious chapter 2 and i also find it funny how this bakes this basically is coming out 10 years after the last time we saw the lamberts and now dalton is away at college he'll be getting dropped off by his father still played by patrick wilson who was going to be starring in the movie as well as directing the movie alongside his returning on-screen wife rose byrne and it's going to dive into Dalton getting trapped in the further once again, I would assume. Now, there aren't too many plot specifics out there, but you do have what you see here on your screen that I've come across. Some new recent set photos like this, which shows that they have been filming for quite some time out in New Jersey, I guess. Now, they've been filming in New Jersey in two locations I've been able to track down going off of these images. They were they were filming at Drew University. And then they were filming at a cemetery location because there's a funeral sequence I guess they're going to shoot. Uh, we also know that another Lambert family member will be back going off of another photo that's about to come up on your screen. But I wanted to talk about this uh, college setting really quick. Now this is again the image of Drew University. I'm assuming that Drew University is going to be the location of course where dalton is attending university something is going to happen at said university where he is going to end up back in the further i can only imagine since again dalton is much older now and he is going into his early adulthood years it might have something to do with it do with drug use or something else that puts him back into the further i don't see it being anything else besides that because again at the end of insidious chapter two we see Carl assist both him and his father in forgetting their ability to astral project. So something here at university is going to trigger it once again. And I'm assuming this will end up being something related to drugs, something related to somebody on campus that thinks Dalton is cool, or maybe Dalton doesn't fit in initially on campus and he tries to fit in by doing something he's never done before. And that of course will end up being the drug use that causes him to go back into the further. So we now know that another member of the Lambert family will be back, a new cast member, a uh, returning cast member, Andrew Astor, who we know starred as, I believe the character's name was Foster in the other two Insidious movies with the Lamberts, Dalton's younger brother. And it looks like their sister is in the movie as well, because there's another young girl in this image you see here of the Lamberts at a funeral or at the cemetery of a funeral after a funeral, I'll say in the upcoming insidious 5 movie where they were filming this filming actually occurred earlier this past week on wednesday the 16th and the 17th and, and the 18th i think august 16 17 18 i think is when this scene or sequence happened so whose funeral is this with dalton being present that rules out dalton Elise can't be the one for any of you who are going to chime in saying Elise. I think a lot of people forget that Elise died in the first movie, considering that Elise has been in every movie <laughs> despite dying. But it can't be Elise. Uh, it, I'm assuming this might be one of Dalton's classmates. One of Dalton's classmates who, for whatever reason, might be, again, the person that's experimenting drugs with him. And that's how he ends up back into the further. That's how they end up astral projecting. And they come across the lipstick face demon. And something happens where they die overnight. They might think it's a drug overdose. That's what it gets classified as in the media and whatever else gets whatever other outlets pick up on this on this fraternity death. But really it was the lipstick face demon. That's what I'm assuming is gonna happen as far as like who this death could be. It could be somebody who is unrelated to anything at the college campus it could be a very early sequence in the movie because movies again can be shot out of order most movies are shot out of order for the most part uh from my experience and the knowledge that i've researched so dalton being involved in the sequence again rules him out but it doesn't rule out somebody at the fraternity. It also, again, doesn't mean it'll be somebody at the fraternity. It could be somebody who we just have a random scene with of a, of a funeral and they're unconnected to anything that has to do with what happens at the fraternity or the college campus later on. This could be a very early event. This could be a Lambert relative who has passed away. Could be Josh or Rose's parents 
or I meant Josh or Renee's parents. <laughs> uh, so we'll see what ultimately happens and why they're having a funeral sequence in this movie. But I thought you guys would appreciate these two couple or a couple of actually set images that you see here on your screen of the Lambert family of Rose Byrne actually on set and seeing that another cast member from the previous two entries the previous first two entries i'll say is back andrew astor again portraying the character of foster i would love to see more of foster in insidious 5 and when i say see more of him i'd like to see what that relationship is like with dalton now that they're both older you know they have some more wisdom in them and again they should both be going into what i imagine is late teenhood early adulthood so hopefully we get to see that dynamic play out a little bit on screen in terms of maybe foster having some type of major role in how they end up saving dalton dalton could again actually die in this movie but he's not the person that's dying based off of this funeral scene that's happening so i'm very curious to know who this funeral is going to be for this might of course end up being a scene that gets cut from the final project or final cut of the movie then the funeral could again be very irrelevant but as far as foster's character goes I would like to see more of this character and see him fleshed out a little bit more and see a relationship between him and Dalton and maybe give him a piece of helping not only Dalton, but I imagine Josh is going to get stuck in the further again, too, while trying to save his son. And I'm hoping that, again, the antagonist is just the lipstick face demon doing what the bride in black did with Josh, following him, hell bent on still taking him over and possessing him all these years later even going into his early adulthood like how the bride in black jumped on the chance to take over josh the minute they saw him back in the further and recognized him and of course we know that's how we got into the plot of insidious 2 with saving josh so we'll see what ends up happening with insidious 5 i'm also now thinking about this maybe the lipstick face demon possesses dalton and we see something that's just very similar of insidious 2 but now it's the lipstick face demon possessing dalton and the rest of the family and his fraternity brothers whoever else are involved are going to help save him so we'll see what happens when this movie comes out next july and we'll see if any other new set picks come out while they're filming if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video